Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh ideas from ICM. It's a tank kit in 135 scale, it copies French white tank in German service so you can see German markings but it's still FCM 36 in 135 scale. A lot of numbers I know so just to give you one more, kit number is 35337 and it's a new release which should be already available so if you would like to get it you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and in this box. So first of all I have to say that package and styling is still the same or I would say traditional for ACM. We have quite nice box art here. Here is comparison with my hand. Next on the side here we have some information about the kit and also a short history note about the real subject and as you can see again we have dark on the dark. I'm still not sure when ACM will start doing some white background for this section but just give me a second to take a look. So we have 158 parts inside. Length of the finished model will be 126 millimeters and height is 62 millimeters, which is rather small tank, but as you remember, we have a light tank. And here on the opposite side, you can see three markings which are included. And we even have this gray version, which is, I would say, somewhat simple, but you can play with color modulation. But we will talk about this a bit later when we will be checking the marking guide. So now now we have to open this box and as usual, just like any recent release from ICM, this one is sealed with this tape, so you will have to cut through it in case you would like to see what is hidden inside. And of course you won't be able to examine what is actually supplied in this kit if you are planning to do so in the shop. Well, don't even try because I guess seller will not allow you to break this seal and therefore you won't be able to see what is hidden inside. Well, it's just like I said in previous reviews, it's a, I would say, somewhat discussable thing because from one side you get a completely new toolkit which wasn't touched by anybody but from the other side you're not able to inspect what is inside. And the box design is standard so we have this flexible top part and then we have sturdy white cardboard box. It actually provides the reasonable protection to all the contents inside and that's a really cool thing because it will ensure that everything will arrive intact to you. So here you can see what we have inside. All frames are packed into the same plastic bag. And yes, we have vinyl tracks. In case you missed reviews with the previous versions of this kit. So this plastic is supplied with vinyl tracks and I'm going to open it right now. And we will take a closer look at what is actually included here. Okay. And by the way, plastic bag is resealable, so you can use it later in order to store the parts, which is quite handy feature. So first of all, I would like to show you these two small frames. So let's zoom in. So these are parts for the chains on the tank. As you can see, these are actually chain loops, which will have to be connected together. And that's really interesting design solution because it will help you to get a bit more convincing finish. And of course it might be a bit tedious, but it will be a really nice thing to have on your model. Next, we continue with something not that nice. So these are vinyl tracks and frankly speaking, I'm not going to try to open them because as you can see these are just standard vinyl tracks there is nothing special about them and frankly speaking it's a bit surprising to see such thing in ICM kit because recently they started experimenting with plastic tracks but here again we get vinyl tracks I guess it was done in order to reduce the price of the kit and of course it should be okay for out of the box build but if you would like to have more you will have to resort to some aftermarket solution so here we have first gray plastic sprue, I mean large gray plastic sprue. And this one is dedicated to top hull panel. We also have some turret parts. And note that all hatches are molded shut, so we have only a few of them molded separately, but this is not an interior kit, so you won't be able to show anything inside. And if I flip it over here, you can check what is actually supplied inside. So we have some guiding elements and that's pretty much all, just a plain kit. But Frankly speaking, it would be a good thing to have such light tank with 
some interior parts but we have what we have so you can't avoid it here we continue with some panels for the lower hull section again pretty much the same design as you can see you will have to combine all the panels together and if i zoom in here you can see also this engine bay panel also some main gun parts and external features look more or less fine but again here you can play with some weathering techniques in order to bring them out inside we have all the guiding elements as i said before so it will be more or less easy to combine these large panels together don't be afraid it's not such a difficult task as it might seem to be next we continue with two identical plastic frames here you can see them so they are dedicated to drivetrain parts and various tools and of course i will show you only one because they carry the same set of parts so let's zoom in a bit and here if we zoom out a bit so here we have some parts for drivetrain bogies we also have some parts for drive sprockets and pioneer tools as i said before and i guess we should zoom in so that you can understand what we are talking about yes these drivetrain bogies will have to be assembled one by one so be ready for that you cannot avoid it and it will be a somewhat tedious procedure i would say so be ready for that here we continue with various pioneer tools and again everything looks fine it's just a matter of spending some time with these parts assembling them together and you'll be fine to go and i can flip over this sprue so here you can check these parts from the opposite side okay next we continue with decals sheet so just give me a second to open it as usual it is hidden in assembly manual so here it is it's a small decal sheet but here we have all necessary symbols for three marking options of course you can replicate some of these white crosses with a paint and thin brush for even more convincing appearance but this decision is after you if you are brave enough to do it freehand then definitely try it because it will give some extra uh, would say fine touch to your tank but as i said printing quality is nice and usually acm decals are easy to handle so you won't encounter any problems here and last but not the least is the assembly manual here i have to close the lenses a bit so that it won't be that bright so we zoom out and here you can see this assembly manual it's a large cover printed brochure we have a short history note and technical specifications for the rio tank here on the first page covers chart and safety devices next we flip over the page here we have a parts map maybe i'll close the lenses a bit more so that it won't be that bright and you can distinguish between parts note that all parts are used in the assembly they are not marked with the red crosses so be sure not to use any of these elements and assembly process starts with lower hull section so here as you remember you have to work with separate panels combine them together install drivetrain bogies and then you continue with the side armor panels which are somewhat i would say 3d-ish so that's why you will have to uh, combine a lot of panels with angle to the lower hull section there are also various towing hooks and some other minor elements being installed here and there so do not forget to get them into the right spot here we install vinyl tracks our favorite and next we start working on the top hull section so as you can see we get this one piece part and install it onto the lower sub assembly then we continue with various panels which are molded separately obviously you cannot open them and there is no point in opening them because there is no engine or any other interior parts in this kit a lot of pioneer tools get installed here and there next we have two assembly options so you can open or close this front panel it might be handy for some figures i guess we will see some figures combo set in the future but for now you have to find your own let's say suitable addition to this kit next we continue with more pioneer tools and we start working on the main gun which will be installed in the turret so surprisingly it will be detailed inside as well and here we continue with turret assembly so again we have several assembly options 
and it will be related to the rear hatch so as you can see you can build it either in open or closed and that's why we have gun detailed inside so it will be visible through this large open hatch by the way here you can see the um, this chain assembly manual it will be placed on the rear side of the tank actually on the front and also on the rear and what is next Next we continue with the marking guides, so here is first marking option from 1940, obviously the second one is also from the same year, it's from June, and here is another one again June 1940. So three marking options, but still it's quite interesting choice of marking, so definitely you'll find something interesting for your build. And overall kit is quite interesting thing for these modelers who are tired from typical subjects in 135 scale, it should be already available for quite a reasonable price. So if you would like to build it for your collection, go for example to Modelimex, they should have it for sure. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!